Well, some people would say that your diet should never be intertwined with heading to the buffet. That is unless you know exactly what to do when you are face to face with all that food. Our diet editor, Kim Vincent, is back here now with the armor that you need to survive. We know your story, Kim. You lost 212 pounds, dropped 14 dress sizes. You did it with old fashioned exercise and changing your diet, right? That's right. Now, going to these buffets can be dangerous. They can be. <laughs> you know what? If you're like my husband, who has uh, is very frugal, mm -hmm. it's you don't eat for a day and then it's all you can eat because it's free food. You're making up for the so, difference, right? That's right. When you do go to the buffet or if you have brunch, you know, there's all this food in front of you. What are some tips that you can, you know, use? Well, first of all, the opposite of what Mark was thinking is true. You need to not go there hungry. Have a little snack before you go, maybe an apple, some carrots, just something small so that when you get there, you're not fighting the stomach hunger as well as the head hunger. Kind of like when you're going to the grocery store. Don't go hungry, right? right. Okay, now you also have to have the idea of an, a healthy plate before you go there, right? That's right. A healthy plate looks like this. One half vegetables, one quarter protein, one quarter carbs. So if you have that in mind, don't just run down through the buffet line and grabbing a little bit of everything that looks good because honestly it's all gonna look <laughs> right. good. So keep that in mind and make a plan. Scout it out first and then go and, and keep the healthy plate in mind. One of your other tips is something that our crew, we all need to learn is not to hover around the table. We were all standing around this this the food here earlier, but don't hover don't honestly. Linger. Everything that's there is gonna be very tempting. So make get your plate of food and then go and th that brings you to the next tip, which is mm -hmm. find somebody to chat with. Make sure it's not all about the food, it's all about the relationships. Yeah, that's definitely Definitely so. important too. You figure out what you're there for, right? That's right. Talking to yourself sometimes out loud. I do this every day, I think. Well, <laughs> and I answer myself. That's too. not <laughs> what we're talking about, though. It's a whole another conversation, but right. Why should we talk to ourselves? Though? Well, you know what? Weight loss is as much mental, even more so than it is physical. So you've got to say to yourself, "Look, I'm here for a, a free food. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a healthy plate, and I'm going to go and have you know talk with friends and and." Yeah and that kind of thing. So it's really, you need to say to yourself, this is all I'm having, I'm not going back, mm -hmm. and it really does help. And for dessert, please dessert. tell me there's something we can do for that. Well, you know what, you can scout down some fruit, that's your best okay. bet, um, or bring a little something sweet with you to okay. end the meal with. Now we've got uh, your Mother's Day brunch menu, correct? If you're doing your buffet at home, yeah. we've got a Mother's Day menu okay. here. Some there's rhinos. gingerbread waffles, they're delicious, and what we've done is we've taken a typical waffle mix and we've ground up some fiber one, and it, the flavor oh. with the gingerbread and all the spices is delicious. Okay, I And like so that. it really lightens it, bulks up the fiber, and they're very light. They're 107 calories per waffle. And then my favorite, of course. Oh, shrimp cocktail. cocktail. Everybody knows <laughs> that it's really good and that yeah. it's really low fat. Right. But did you know how easy it is to make? Just a little bit Quick. of the low sugar ketchup, the carb-free ketchup, and a little bit of horseradish with it, uh -huh. and a little bit of lemon juice, cracked salt and pepper, and you've got a delicious, and you can kick up the horseradish yeah. as much as you want. <laughs> as much as zing as you need there. That's right. We've also got asparagus here, and then obviously the strawberry. Fresh with asparagus with a little light drizzle mm -hmm. on it. Um, stuffed, a little bit of a uh, loaf of French bread. If you do a one ounce piece, it's very light. Cut it open, and we've stuffed it with a little fat-free cream cheese and some fruit inside, and mm -hmm. toasted it up. The recipe's online, and you can't have a brunch without some kind of an egg dish. So yeah, a nice egg. It made it really easy with the real crumbled bacon. Some of those bacon's are out wow. there right now with a light, um, mm -hmm. a, some kind of a light bread. We've used bagels, but you can use a light, mm -hmm. um, any kind of a light bread. Can't forget and to use your bagels too. They're the best. They I honestly good. can attest to that. I love these bagels Thank too. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Kim. You guys have to check out her website. The recipe is on the website, correct? All of them are All there. Right. Kim Benson. Dot com, B -E -N -S -E -N dot com. This has been Better.TV. We're always on with tips and ideas to make your life better. Send us your thoughts, ideas at Better.TV. Together, we'll make your home, family, and life better. Thanks for watching.